Johnny. I'm not, I'm not very good at public speaking. Um, you got this. Start with a joke. Okay. <laughs> what idea, John? Don't be offensive. Uh, why did Sally fall off the swing? Why? Because she didn't have any arms. Oh! oh. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no. Who's there? Not Sally. Ah. <laughs> okay, so that was no offense to anyone, especially Sally. Oh my God, Sally. Why did she have no arms? I like it. I like it. Off the cuff these days. 
my buddies around me had started nailing, nailing themselves to the floor, <laughs> was walking the line and getting married, what I had in store. As Johnny Cad had once said himself, I keep my hands wide open in the pines of the tide because you're fine. I walk the line. I couldn't remember the chorus there. <laughs> so I decided to go down this path and walk the line. On my own terms, in our favourite place, deciding it was time, a mountain in Telluride with a poem like this, I asked Lou to officially be mine. At the top of two runs called Plunge and See Forever. With skis on, I did not take a knee. But with a few words in the local paper, I requested, Lou, will you spend your life with me? I made sure that it was, it was cold and at altitude when I asked Lou to be my wife. I was convinced the thin air and cold temperature would help me nail it down for life. I was actually pretty confident that the answer I would get would be a yes. She was no different to any other girl wanting to grow up and wear a veil and a pretty white dress. They all say they don't, but they all do. <laughs> <laughs> so desperately they love it. <laughs> in, in Telluride, Colorado's mighty fine southwest, we found a second home to which we both become totally obsessed. How could this place be not so well received in engagement? Noah's first and second third first and third birthday, and for Evie. Well, that's where she was conceived. I planned all that pretty well, the future I did see. If you have to orchestrate these events, you have to orchestrate these events if all you want to do is ski. <laughs> our, best, our best memories in Telluride and all over the world are still ultimately untold because age will never tarnish our spirit of adventure, especially as we get old. We got married and put on one hell of a show. You don't need the fun details for you all to go. Except you, Homer. <laughs> and AT, who else did you go? <laughs> <laughs> Greece, Shanghai, simply living the dream. The last duo hurrah, because if things go our way, there'll be kids on the scene. So I've returned home and back to the grind, doing everything in our power for kids to be our time. Then called the Pope to pass on a note detailing they finally did get married. So they tell, tell the powers that be, hurry for the fuck up, for they need, they need a baby to carry. It's actually what she said, that's why I take it to church every Sunday. <laughs> They're challenging times when, when you do all you're told and it's simply a child you wish. Lucky for us, science trumps God and Noah was conceived in a Petri dish. <laughs> I don't think there is anything that fulfills you with so much joy than to have your first arrive in this world and for us, a baby boy. Lose uterus, fallopian tubes and ovaries <laughs> must have kicked into gear because it took zero effort and she was pregnant the very next bloody year. <laughs> With all the baby organs now primed and prepped to go, we made up for lost time and we quickly punched out two tin lids in her own. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's a little more conservative, emotional, and smart like his mum. They're only early days yet, but signs of his yet, what, what, what is yet to come. Evie? Well, <laughs> we, love, we love our beautiful second child. <laughs> She's a bit like me, but only three, already showing traits of being crazy and wild. <laughs> With two little rat bags on the ground, a perfect family of four. So happy in fact that when Evie came out, we both agreed, no more. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> stand, stand on the light. Come on, we're coming on tonight. Because where is that no ball? <laughs> we're in a rush to graduate to skis and boards and Fenora to bo- and Fenora bike, jet setting on boats and planes, out and about, doing the things that we like. In regards to the direction we would take with our work careers, the vision was clear. We'd set up a business with a trajectory pointing north year after year. We have complementary skills and we work well together. A testament to our relationship because many couples that mix marriage and work, relationships tether. But it was at this time where everything seemed right and our family, business and future looked so bright The cancer picked an unprovoked fire and shattered the bright coloured days with dark night. All of Lou's closest friends, I know you've shared the pain felt. There isn't an explanation or definitive reason, it's simply they're the cards that we've been dealt. Life is challenging for everyone, no matter what your circumstance, but you're you're much better defeating the odds if together you take a stance. And when I say together, I mean everyone that's standing with Lou tonight. She's been a much strong she's been a much stronger warrior and can brawl this disease when she's supported by you on this plight. At times over the last 10 months, it feels like all we've achieved has regressed. But it's friends and family and our two little kids that remind us that we are so very blessed. So what so whether it's flowers, a call, a message, a gift, a hug another tasty dinner. Every gesture, big or small, contributed to Lou, contributes to Lou being a winner. I'm actually uh, convinced that half, half the people here, half the women here are like proper chefs. When all the mills turn up in a fry, I mean, I was, I was like, if Lou wasn't sick, I'd just be like, this is the dream. <laughs> Amazing cook pills every night, but anyway, it's just, but all the little things, it, it's, it makes a massive difference. She's still on the journey, and unfortunately, she's shrouded by an uncertain cloud, but it's persistence, discipline, and focus that are the characteristics she's ultimately vowed. It's these, it's these traits that will take her through to remission. She made it her choice, clear from inception, her outlook and her vision. Chemotherapy, surgery, radiation, more chemo, lose fighting this illness with tenacity through and through. With a one finger salute every day saying, hey cancer, you know what? Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, just a quick ad break. So remember girls and tell your friends to check those breasts and armpits too. (laughs) Early diagnosis is crucial to ensuring your survival even if the slightest thing feels abnormal to you. <laughs> hey, Mo's doing screens in the poker room at 10. <laughs> <laughs> and they're free. <laughs> back, back, back to the program. <laughs> Coming to my wedding. <laughs> Lou, as the years have passed, the toughest have been the last. But all these troubles are simply a bump in the road. Everyone's moved by the fight you're giving and the courageous character that you've shown. You're doing all that you can, you can't give any more. When you throw everything into it with a smile on your face, then the outcome will be shown in the score. Enough about cancer, for tonight it's a battle with one. We've brought our dancing shoes, we're here to drink booze, banter, have a laugh, have some fun. Lou, whether you're running, walking, or reduced to a crawl, if need be, I'll carry you along. With me by your side and our friends here to support, we're incredibly stronger as one. Has everyone been drinking their drinks? (laughs) Raise your glass to 40 years. It's time to say cheers. And here's a cheers to another 40 fun on the way. We love you all, the snowflakes of the Western San Juan, a mighty hip hip hooray. Louise Maria Nacellas, from all of us here, many happy returns. Let's celebrate your birthday today.
the right to apply.
Luther have surprised my 30th card. Okay. Haven't had a 40th, but we're like, you know what, let's throw a massive party when when we're actually through this challenge or whatever. But in the end, in the end, like I think it's a really good idea. It was like Alicia was trying to plan a surprise party. <laughs> Which, yeah. We know about that. Yeah. And we're, yeah. So we had all these emails going back and forth, and then Lou and the was like, you know what? I want a party. Yeah. Which I think is great because she, you know, she needs it. Well, she's still fine, even though she's she's going through this, through this treatment. She still finds a good period of it. Once enough, every two weeks to party. <laughs> <laughs> She wants a party for me, and she gets so buoyed by everybody here and their messages and their support. And, and literally, it's like it's, it's quite bizarre because it's something that if I was going through something similar, uh, I'm such an introvert that I would want to move away from that that attention. But Lou just yeah, loves sure. the loves the people feeling. Lou, Lou, Lou loves the the fact that people just give her that support, that attention. So, and she and she needs it. She thrives it. So, a party like this just means that. It reminds her how much she's loved and, and how close she's been. And she loves the club. Everybody loves the club. Everybody loves the club. Hey! 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 Anyway, and so when I looked at all of this reflection of my life, I also, obviously, you know, you look at your life, everybody in it, what you've achieved in that life, and what I saw is a life that I really would have changed, um, a life that I'm so content with, and a life that I'm so lucky to live. I saw love and friendship and memories that will outlast a lifetime. I feel joy and pride and a particular contentment that just wasn't as present. Although I've always been a mentally happy person, I can honestly say that I'm entering my four year happier than ever before.
you and my two sisters can have, especially with what we've been through. You're a mum that I aspire to be every day and I'm so proud. Thank you for always knowing me better than I know myself and for making everything all right. And Dom. Yeah, I'm running out of batteries. So. <laughs> Actually, no, 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 no. Skip, skip. So skip Dom. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs>